SnowRunner PTS just got another update, so we're going to go over all of the patch notes from Friday, April 12th. The Plaid 450 can now attach a multi-purpose cargo module. So you got the repair points, the fuel, and the tires from that, plus you got a crane and a single slot bed. So the NF1424 can now attach a mini crane and it also got a single slot bed. So as many of you probably know, they changed the center of gravity in the Azov Atom last week when PTS came out. And they have tweaked the center of gravity again, but this time it's of the cab of the truck. It says that the slightly improved balance of the Alto 4-110 engine in the AAC-58DW, the new Scout, in Season 13. Another thing they did was fix the collision between the spare wheel, the crane, and the snorkel on the Tatra Phoenix. They corrected the fuel indicator on the Burlak 6x6 dashboard. It says they added the compatibility of LP4 log loader crane and medium logging frame for the 47X NF1430. But as you guys can see here in the footage, you can get it with a short log frame or a long log frame. But when you attach the medium, it doesn't work still, so that is... Uh, something for a later date, probably in the next couple of PTSs, they'll fix that. Even though this truck does not look like it would be able to attach trailers in this layout, it actually can attach all the trailers with a log loader crane and a short log frame. So now I'll read the patch notes to cover everything that I didn't read or didn't show. So it says, Vehicle Improvements Plaid 450, the frame twisting has been slightly enlarged. The installation of a roof rack is now blocked when a heavy crane is installed. So previously you could have a heavy crane and the roof rack and it would just clip through and you could have both of them. So now it's one or the other. They added a multi-functional platform, which is what you're seeing here, the multi-purpose cargo module. For the AAC-58DW, they slightly improved the balance of the Alto 4-110 engine. For other improvements, they changed the center of gravity in the cabin of the Azov 67096 Atom, changed the weight of the fork on the Tatra ramped towing platform. I believe that is the Tatra Force, the ramped towing platform, which has those little uh, sort of wheel hooks where you can hook them under a vehicle and pick it up. Sort of the uh, unique add-on for that. Removed a conflict between the wings and the loading crane on the Tatra Force T815-7. Remove the collision between the crane and the spare wheel slash exhaust pipes on the Tatra Phoenix. Fix a bug where the glass inside the Ford F750, or if you're in Belarus, Ukraine, or Russia, the AWMG TX-340 cabin was displayed incorrectly. Corrected the fuel indicator on the Burlak 6x6 dashboard. Added the compatibility of a LP4 log crane and medium log frame for the Western Star 47X NF1430, which I showed you guys, that still doesn't work. It says they added a mini crane to the Western Star 47X NF1424, which they also added the single slot flatbed. It also says they corrected the color of the upholstery inside the Western Star 57X cabin. They fixed weight for some heavy or super heavy wheels. And then it has other changes, added DLC music, so previously they didn't have any music for this DLC. Added missing translations into other languages. Different collision fixes, various camera fixes, various visual fixes, and localization fixes. So that is the entire patch notes for PTS 30.1. So hopefully you guys got something from this video, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.